Administration of life-saving medications in the pre-hospital setting may be one of the most important things an EMT will do for their patient. It requires the ability to recognize life-threatening conditions, such as hypoglycemia or an asthma attack, knowledge of which medications are used to treat these conditions, and how those medications are administered. Some medications can be administered by the EMT, such as aspirin for chest pain and oral glucose for hypoglycemia, while other medications, such as nitroglycerin for chest pain, bronchodilators for difficulty breathing, and epinephrine for allergic reactions, must already be prescribed to the patient, and the EMT will only be assisting the patient with his or her own medications. Nitroglycerin, or nitro, is a potent vasodilator. It helps dilate the coronary arteries that supply the heart muscle with blood, thereby relieving the chest pain associated with angina and acute myocardial infarction, or heart attack, and reducing damage to the heart muscle. In many cases, the patient has been advised by his or her physician to take nitro whenever they experience chest pain. EMTs commonly arrive on the scene to find that a cardiac patient has already taken their nitro. In other cases, the patient may have the medication but has not yet thought of using it. Nitroglycerin is normally absorbed into the bloodstream within one to two minutes and usually lasts between 20 to 30 minutes. The most common side effect of nitroglycerin administration includes hypotension and headache. To assist a patient with nitro, all of the following indications must be met. The patient is complaining of chest pain. The patient has a prescription of nitroglycerin in their name and the medication is present with the patient, and the patient's systolic blood pressure is greater than 100. Contraindications for use of nitro include the patient's systolic blood pressure is less than 100, the patient has already taken the maximum prescribed dosage prior to your arrival, the patient has taken Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, or other sexually enhancing drugs within the last 24 to 48 hours, or the patient has a head injury or other significant trauma. The procedure begins when you take BSI precautions. Be sure to wear gloves at all times. A nitroglycerin pill can be absorbed into your skin if held long enough. Consult with medical direction and or review any standing medical orders or protocols related to the administration of nitroglycerin. Inquire about how the medication has been stored. Nitroglycerin is light, heat, and age sensitive. Patients who typically carry their nitro in their shirt or pants pockets will find the nitroglycerin ineffective after a while. Check the five rights of drug administration. The medication is right for this patient, meaning that you have the right medication bottle and it is not expired, that you have the right dose, which is usually 0.4 milligrams per each tablet or spray, that you are using the right route of administration, which is sublingual or under the tongue, and that you are administering the medication at the right time, meaning for a patient with chest pain who is still conscious and can follow your instructions to lift their tongue and allow the medication to be absorbed under the tongue. Explain the procedure to the patient, including instructions not to swallow the medication, but to allow it to be absorbed under the tongue. Also confirm no allergies to the medication and that the patient has not taken any sexually enhancing drugs in the past 24 to 48 hours. Place the patient in a comfortable position, preferably one that will allow you to move the patient into a supine position if necessary, in the event of hypotension. If the patient's nitro is in tablet form, take these steps. Remove the oxygen mask. Ask the patient to open the mouth and lift their tongue. Place the tablet under the patient's tongue, then replace the oxygen mask. Ask the patient to wait at least 10 seconds before swallowing. If using nitro spray, do not shake the container as it can alter the metered dose. Direct the spray under the patient's tongue, then replace the oxygen mask. Ask the patient to wait at least 10 seconds before swallowing. Reassess the patient's blood pressure within two minutes. Ask the patient about the effect of the medication on pain relief. The goal of pre-hospital medication administration is to make patients pain-free not to just take the edge off of their pain. If the chest pain persists, advocate for your patient by inquiring about a subsequent dose of nitroglycerin.